What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be talking about the top movie trailers from the Super Bowl that we just had. And uh, which ones you should check out on YouTube. I'll have the links right here in the descriptions. So if anyone you've seen that you want to check out, you can just click the link. Bam, and you got it. All right, so the top trailer that everybody was talking about yesterday, of course, was the Avengers Infinity War trailer. Um, this trailer was kind of a short spot, only 30 to 40 seconds, but it seemed like they packed more into that short spot than they did the two-minute trailer that they let out a while back. This trailer, we got to look at uh, Captain America's new shield. We got to look at Iron Man's new armor. Um, we got to look at Doctor Strange making some spells. Uh, you name it, Black Widow. I mean, we just had to look at everything in here, even Bucky Barnes, you know? So if you want to check out a trailer, any trailer from the whole day, whole Super Bowl, I would say this would be the one to check out just because it's so much jam packed into a short spot. And next up, we have that Cloverfield Paradox teaser trailer. It's a Netflix series. I think after what they show with Bright, that they show they can make some really great movies. And this was no different than that. This uh, trailer was very intense. Cast looked great. And I can't wait to see it. It's kind of like a continuation from the Cloverfield movies that we've seen. So yeah, it's going to be pretty good. After that, we had the Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom trailer. Um, this trailer was way better than the first one. It had a lot more action, a lot more dinosaurs. Chris uh, Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, they all uh, look cool in this one. She actually was dressed in some regular clothes instead of high heels this time, which made a lot more sense. We got Jeff Goldblum back, which is great. Anytime you put Jeff Goldblum in anything, I'm down to watch that. But this trailer was a lot better. It gave uh, some more background to the movie. Uh, the volcano, it's a volcano on the island where all the dinosaurs at. And so they're trying to evacuate the uh, dinosaurs from the island and all hell breaks loose and different things go on, you know. But yeah, it was a great trailer. We got another uh, shot at Blue from the first movie. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I can't wait to see that one. Next up is the uh, Skyscraper movie starring The Rock. This movie didn't, didn't really look any different than Die Hard. That's what everybody was saying online. It pretty much looked like a remake of Die Hard with The Rock instead of Bruce, uh, Bruce Willis. But uh, yeah, I mean, it seemed like a good action-packed movie. But to me, The Rock keeps making the same movies over and over and over. You know, San Andreas, you know, now Skyscraper. And I mean, I don't know. All his movies kind of look the same to me. But anyway, next next up, we had the Red Sparrow movie. This is Jennifer Lawrence's, like, uh, Russian spy movie. This is like uh, Black Widow light. So if you're into Marvel and Avengers, you know Black Widow, uh, who's played by Scarlett Johansson. Well, this is pretty much just like that. They can they can pretty much change the title from Red Sparrow to Black Widow, and it'll probably make more sense. But yeah, uh, comes out later on this year, and, and, it, and it really didn't move me, but it, it just seemed like something that's cool to watch. Maybe get the Blu-ray or something like that. Next up, we got a uh, Tom Cruise coming out with Mission Impossible Six, uh, making his 87th appearance. You know, in a Mission Impossible movie, uh, record breaking, I guess. This uh, is pretty much what you could expect from a Tom Cruise Mission Impossible movie. I actually enjoy going to see him because I know what I'm getting. I'm getting Tom Cruise. That's an A+. I'm getting action. That's going to be A+. I'm going to get some good acting and a good villain. That's going to be A+. So I know when I go see these movies, I'm going to get my money's worth. It's going to be just action, some good acting. I really don't care what they're chasing or what, what they're after. I just want to see some good action and Tom Cruise jump off something because I know he's really doing it and he probably puts himself through a lot to make these movies. So yeah, all respect to him and what he goes through. But yeah, you can find that trailer in the description along with all the other ones that you want to check out. Um, last and probably least is the Solo movie. Now, this is coming from Disney, and they're making, well, um, Disney, I guess, uh, Lucasfilm, when they're making all the Star Wars movie. This is a standalone movie. And after what they did with the last couple Star Wars movies, you know, Rogue One and The Last Jedi, and even Episode Seven, I'm not even looking forward to that. I mean, you can hear it in my voice. It's I'm just putting it out there because it's something you should know about that's happening. But honestly, I imagine this film is going to be a complete big letdown. It, it reminds me of Rogue One. I don't know. I think Disney uh, is doing just a horrible job with uh, the Star Wars franchise. You know, I, I think they should bring in uh, Lucas back to uh, direct them. You know, George Lucas, let him come back in and direct them. Because y'all just don't, y'all don't understand what Star Wars is. And, and this trailer right here was just another example of that. But that's just my opinion. If you disagree or agree, let me know in the comment section below, y'all. Uh, all the trailers, links will be in this description so you can check them out. Or you can check out my movie playlist where I got nothing but uh, movie trailers for all the ones I talked about. 
anyway, y'all, I'm your boy Dress. I hope I saved you some time and let you know which movie trailers are worth your time and which movies are worth watching. Um, but get at me in the comment section and get at me on Twitter, at DerailB underscore. And I'll catch your ass next time out there in the universe. Peace.